MHS TV. I'm Jack. And I'm Joseph. This is your news for Friday, May 26th, 2023. MHS held their Mayfest concert last Friday with the band, orchestra, and choir all performing in the cave. Artwork made by MHS students lined the hallways for guests to look at before and after the concert. All of the hard work from the MHS art and music departments put in paid off last Friday. Mishawaka Building Trades received $275,000 from the mayor and city council members. The money is going to be used by MHS Building Trades to fix a house on West Mishawaka Avenue. They worked this year on gutting the house and preparing it for renovations. To all the seniors, congratulations! The commencement ceremony is June 4th in the cave. Seniors will need to turn their device and charger in on the last two days of school or they will be unable to get their tickets. Each senior will be given eight tickets and are not allowed to trade. Commencement starts at 2 p.m., but seniors are to report to their designated areas by 1245. Come join Dylan Baylor and Mackenzie Finn at a local diner called Tradewinds, where they have great people and even greater food. Here's an interview with one of their employees. What is your name and job title? My name is Kayla and I'm a waitress. Uh, what task does your job require to, you to do daily? Um, I have to do quite a few tasks. It depends on day to day, but usually I am a waitress, I am a busser, I am a hostess if we don't have a hostess. So really, it's doing everything that needs to be done. That's, uh... What's, what would you say the work environment's like, like the general vibe, basically? The work environment for Tradewinds is really good. It really is like a big family here. I've been here for almost three years, and honestly, I can say that I've made like a lot of friends here. Um, what do you think is the most popular item? Most popular item is probably going to be our pancakes, usually the pancake. Panquake, oh, yeah, that's a good one. I, I don't think I've tried that, but I think uh, a lot of people like it that I've heard. Um, what's your favorite food item that the restaurant serves? Favorite food item? Mm, probably an Eskimo waffle. So it's going to be a waffle, three scoops of ice cream, <laughs> strawberries, and then whipped cream. That sounds amazing. It's, it's definitely very good. Is there uh, anything else you'd like to add about anything? Um, I don't think so. Come see us at Tradewinds, though. Oh, good. Tuesday was the fifth annual Unified Champions Game Day held at MHS. We had over 100 student athletes represented from all seven of our elementary schools and JYMS. This was an event full of smiles, athletic achievements, and great friendships between student athletes. It's one of the highlights of the school year. The John Young Middle School Spring Band Concert was Tuesday night at Mishawaka High School. The band program at John Young Middle School keeps growing and growing. That was very evident at the concert Tuesday. Both 7th and 8th grade were outstanding. There was even a surprise of Superintendent Dr. Stevens joining in on the tuba with six of the 7th grade tuba players. Mark your calendar for June 24th to attend the third annual One Day in the Sun event at Central Park in Mishawaka. This event is open to the entire community and features free activities and giveaways for all age groups, free picnic lunch for the first 500 guests, and prize drawings for staff and students. Last Monday, the MHS softball team traveled to Northridge. The Cavemen defeated them 11-2, with Olivia Boltick and Leah Dawson both contributing heavily to the win. Lily Hanback hit her first career home run during this game. Congratulations to the team on an undefeated NLC season. On Friday, the Cavemen baseball team faced off at home against New Prairie, where the Cavemen held New Prairie to only one run. They won by a final score of 3-1. Last Saturday, the Cavemen faced off against the Marion Knights at home, where they fought hard but fell 6-4. Tomorrow, the team competes in sectionals against Michigan City. On May 18th, boys track ran in sectionals at Penn. They finished in second out of 12 teams with 108 points. Moving to regionals will be Ken Clemente, Alden Zolman, Liam Bowski, Dakota Joesiak, Skyler Van Skyhawk, Trey Thomas, Jack Troyer, Novell Miller, Tim Kay, Xavier White, Aiden Hooten, Lucas Larson, and Brady Newsom. 
They ran in regionals on Thursday. On Tuesday, the girls track team ran in regionals in Goshen. The girls who advanced to regionals ran hard, including a PR by the 4 by 400 team. Fern Flick scored in the 3200 race, while Maddie Bercheski scored in the 800. Anna DeVrieff finished second in the pole vault and advanced to the state meet. Last Wednesday, the boys golf team competed in a home match against South Bend. The Cavemen added another win to their season, winning by 10 points, 193 to 183. That's all your news for today. Have an amazing summer, Cavemen.